back to the channel as ever you can find me over on instagram at the house of langford and overall sews i'm also on ravelry as mad x stitcher and this is my little monthly podcast um my walls are bare because finally moving out of here um so this is the last time you will see well a blank wall really um I'm trying to plan it so that my next one, so the end of July, comes from my new craft room, but we will see. Very exciting. Um, but yeah, so I'm moving out of here, moving in with my parents for a little while before I make my final move. So my voice is a bit weird. <laughs> so apologies in advance. Um, it's starting to get a little squeaky. Sometimes it's quite gravelly. Um sometimes it's not there at all so if i'm a little bit quiet please please do turn me up um <laughs> and then you'll be able to hear me better um i'm not sure what's going on i think i'm just losing my voice as a teacher i usually lose it around may or april time um but that didn't happen this year so it's happening now and we have three weeks left of school so i don't know what's going on um but yeah other than that that's where we're at so if you're new here hi you are very welcome my name is madison and that's the ice cream fan <laughs> oh. it is the weekend it is sunny outside um it's very warm so yeah, ice cream bar. <laughs> okay, right. So yeah, um, there's also a Facebook page linked to this podcast under the same name. And actually some of the items you're going to see today are available on my Facebook page. So if you want one, please do head over there and yeah, let me know which one you want. <laughs> um, and there's also a group, but I don't, I don't think it's actually active. I need to check. I'm not very good at posting on Facebook at the moment. I tend to use Instagram more than anything. And then I upload all of my projects onto Ravelry and update my projects page that way. So Facebook has kind of been lost whilst I record stuff for YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Hi, um, I'm not usually this disorientated. Um, there's a lot going on. I think I'm now over the stress, of, like past to being stressed. Um, there's still a lot to do in terms of clearing out the flat, but it's getting there. It will get done. And yeah, <laughs> I've had to buy um, or rent a storage unit because I realised that regardless of what I take back, like even the stuff that I need will not fit in my car because it's too small. So yeah, I've had to rent another storage unit or a storage unit. And then I'm going to have to drive a very small van with the last of my stuff. And then I'm hoping that all I will have left is my big suitcase and then the yarn that I'm working with. Fingers crossed. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, shall we get into the podcast properly? Because it's been four minutes and all I've done is waffle. So, as always, I like to start my month with the plans that I had and things that I wanted to either finish or get started or just work on in general. So, <gasps> yeah, if you see me looking in a different place, apologies for the noise. I have got the windows open, um, trying to dry some clothes washing um yeah where was i yeah i like to set plans things that i like to try and achieve throughout the month so i'm looking down because my notes are in front of me um so i wanted to make some turtles i wanted to complete sal the rollaway monkey i wanted to work on soya the gariel both of those two are toft projects and i wanted to work on postcards of love blankets so that's four projects for this month and I can say that I have done all but three. Uh, all but three? All but one. Yes. 
I have not finished Sal the Rollaway Monkey. He just needs putting together, like sewing together, and then I need to crochet his beard and stuff like that, and that is it. Um, everything else for him is done. It's just an afternoon of, because I want to do it like a stop motion like I did with the bobcat. And I've kind of learned a little bit from that as well. So I want to try and do a stop motion of him being put together. And that requires time and space. So I might have to do that at work and take this unit with me because this has like... I'll try and take a picture and show you. It's a light ring, but it's got a stand so I can tilt it so I can do overhead. That's how I did my bobcat before. Anyway, that's my plans. So yeah, despite the fact that I have been trying to clear the flat, I have actually done quite a fair bit of crochet. I did lose my mojo a little bit, my crojo, but it has come back with a vengeance. I set myself the target of trying to make as many turtles as possible. And I finished June with nine turtles and only one of them is spoken for at the minute. So if you want one, you'll have to get there quick. <laughs> um, so there are eight more available. So let's move on to the finishes then for June. Right, let's dig into the turtles because those are the first finishes I'm going to show you. Now I have finished seven in June so yeah they all use King Cole yummy yarn and I have done the bodies either in cream or champagne now this the first one I'm going to show you is the one that has been spoken for um so he does have a home to go to and this one is in turquoise with a cream body he's very cute and they are so squishy Yes, with big eyes. So that's one turtle. And then have this is the last one I made. This one is Tutti Frutti. That uses Tutti Frutti colorway, which is like a rainbow speckle. And he has a champagne body. It's like the fact they've got little tails as well. So that's two. Then we have a purple, which is violet. So he has a violet shell and then a champagne body. So that's free. This one is a black shell with a cream body. My little bale of turtles is getting very big. <laughs> um, that's four. We're going to see if I can hold them all. I don't know if I can hold them all. That's four. Let me try. Ready? This one is a mushroom one. Red with some white spots is a toadstool. Ugh. And he is a champagne body. And then we have bright yellow. Easter yellow with a cream body. And one more, one more. With a green one with a cream body. So, um, yeah, it's a bale of turtles. I had to look up what the um, plural of turtles was, and it's a bale. So, <laughs> I'm gonna drop them all. There's so many turtles. Yeah, I love all of them though, they're so cute. So King Cole Yummy, um, I got the safety eyes from Amazon. I can put the link down below. And the pattern is a tutorial by Rose and Lily on YouTube. So yeah, basically I can make one in half a day. The shell doesn't take long and then you make all the body pieces and then you just crochet all together. There's no sewing other than the head. Um, yeah. So, all for my turtles. They are on my Facebook page. I've put them up for thirty pounds each. That seems quite a lot, but it is a jumbo turtle, 
there are smaller patterns available i did the biggest one um it is a jumbo turtle and i just think they're really fun like who wouldn't want a turtle yeah so i reckon i could make them into ninjas as well anyway yes i have nine available this is just seven the other two are there's one plain red and one sugar pink so yeah it's all squishy <laughs> right so with all my yummy projects i tend to use a five mil hook just because i kind of like the look of the stitches better so yeah um this is my finish my second finish of the month is a little chicken <laughs> this is also a free pattern um off the top of my head i can't remember who it's by but i'll put the link down below for you and it's meant to be a lot bigger this is like not as not much bigger than my hand um yeah it's meant to be a lot bigger i think i've done the eyes a bit weird as well because this eye is different to this one <laughs> But I quite, I rather like it. So yeah, this is done in the Tutti Frutti Yummy by King Cole. Again with a five mil hook. And the idea was I was going to make some more with the leftovers from the turtles. But it's rather small. Now obviously I also used the thinner yarn out of the, out of the colours. The Tutti Frutti seems to be a lot thinner than the solid colours. Not really sure why, but so it's quite a small chicken. <laughs> uh, but I had fun doing it. It did not take long at all. But I'll find the tutorial and put the link down below for you if you want to make one as well. Um, I've seen them all over the place, but they're generally made using a burnout blanket yarn, which makes it a bit bigger. <laughs> I use the Yummy, which is the equivalent we have in the UK. And it's a little bit thinner. <laughs> so yeah, I made a chicken. Easy crochet chicken. Um, I might make some more, I don't know. But it was just a bit of fun to do after making all of the turtles. And I wanted to make something a little bit smaller and quicker. But yeah, here's a chicken. And there's one more finish for June. Now I haven't actually cut off the yarn and woven in any of the ends yet because I'm debating whether to rip it back and do an extra round. Um, but I don't know if you remember, I mentioned that I was doing a, I've been wanting to do my snowflake beret in two colors for quite some time. And I did the sunshine beret in two colors but that pattern's not been released yet, so we wanted to do the snowflake one. So I was using the chunky yarn from the little grey girl. This is Raphael is the navy blue, and Corveni is the sort of neutral with the colour speckles. That shows it off a lot better. I love this colour. It's just so pretty. So yeah, I have finished. The first one it does fit i've got my hair in a bun let me see if i can put it on so i haven't even fastened off the yarn because i'm still in two minds about pulling back but my hair is an absolute mess see it's not quite big enough for my head um so I'm debating whether to do another round in the blue. Because I do have enough yarn left over to do that. I've got quite a bit left over. And I've done the bottom just in the Corveni colour. So yeah, it's not it's not working as well as the last one I did. Um yeah, I'm thinking that I'll I'll add another round of the navy just to just to loosen it up a bit more or i can do it in a slightly bigger hook so i've done this in a six mil which is what i've done most of them in but i'm wondering whether to do it in a 6.5 to loosen it up which i think is also why i've not fastened it off 
but I don't have a 6.5 hook because I packed it and it's gone. So I only kept out the six mil. Um, but yeah, so you might see this again. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it's finished in that I've done all the crochet for it and I'm happy with how it works with the two colors. So I wanted it to really show off the pattern that I put into it. So it looks like a snowflake. So I'm really pleased with it. And Gemma's yarn, Gemma's yarn is really lovely to work with. It's nice and soft and it's got nice stability to it as well, but there's still some stretch. So yeah, so that's my snowflake berry. This pattern is available. I'm gonna write up some instructions though on how I change color. Um, so that if you did wanna try and do it in the two colors, then the option is there as well. So I'm gonna add that to the pattern and then update the Ravelry file for it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've also still got quite a bit of the Corveni, so plenty of yarn to do something slightly different with it, but yes. That's another one off my list of things to do. Right, that's it for my finishes. So I've done seven turtles, one little chicken and one beret. So that's nine objects for June, which is quite a lot for me, really. So especially with all what's going on. Um, but yeah, so let's move into my works in progress or my whips. And I have five. So I was writing them down, I was like, do I go from just whatever's a, to hand first or do I go from biggest to smallest or do I go like amigurumi and then this and then that and then I was just like, hmm, let's just go biggest to smallest. So we're going to start off with an old whip. This one is from 2022 and this is the Postcards with Love Blanket. It is a pattern by Eleonora Tully of Coastal Crochet. And I have been working on some of the postcards. I can't remember if I showed you the progress I made last month or the month before. Nope. Um, so I have, I thought I'd worked on this in a previous month, but apparently not. So I have done the last of the postcards. These ones have flowers, so there are four of these. So I've done all four and I did them, I did one on its own and then I was like, that took quite a while. So I did the rest in tandem. So I did all of the green first, then all the green on the next one, then all the green on the next one. And then I went back to the first one, did the yellow, and then the yellow, then yellow, and did it row by row like that so that they were all growing at the same rate. I did, however, do the blue rows wrong when I was losing a stitch at the end on almost every row. So I had to unpick them and redo them. But they are all done. They've all got their border. They are supposed to have some beach huts, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do the beach huts or not. Now, when we had the... When the cow was running back in 2022, um, a lot of people designed different things to go on them. So I might see if I can find those and put some different... Um, I think one of them had like a lighthouse. There were some seagulls for one of them. Um, yeah, but these all have the flowers. So I'm going to see if I can do something different rather than the beach huts. Because the middle two have beach huts. Yes, so that's four. Four of the postcards. So I think that's week four. Hmm, I think that's week four. Um, and then I have moved on to week five and done the two that say wish you were here so what i'm gonna do these do also need a heart on them like the with love ones so i'll see if i can put a picture up of what it looks like the last after the last time i worked on it so i think the last thing i did for it was the with love postcards that look like this um yeah, so I have those two. And these are done using inset mosaic, which is not my favourite. I prefer overlay. But 
they're done all the ends are woven in and having looked over at the blanket to my left I have noticed that I have not woven in the ends on anything else except this so I have all of the sunburst squares done they were done ages ago and I have the two with love postcards done so all I have to do now is four hearts so I started I don't know where I've put them I did start the hearts at the weekend they might be in the box yeah I did two of the hearts like for the center of the square um, so I need to do two more hearts and then start working round by round um, so they all progress the same but yeah I've done all the big postcards they are done and then yeah once I've got the four hearts done I can stitch it all together and then do the border and then it's done and I can say that I've got another old whip done so yeah we'll see how that goes <laughs> I want to try and get that done before I officially move, so before the summer, um, but I guess we'll see. I want to try and get some really good photos of it, so yeah, postcards with love. So for that I am using King Cole Big Value DK, <laughs> that's quite a mouthful, and I'm using a 4.5 hook as well. Um, yeah, so that was the biggest whip. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is Soya Ligario. Last time, I think I only had half of him, like half of his body. Whereas now I have all of his body. And he's got these like bobbles at the end to look like nostrils or his nose area. So I've got all the body done. I think I was like here when we got off the train back from Glasgow last time. So he's done. I've got to do his legs, obviously, and then add some teeth and some eyes. I think that's it. Oh, and he's got like bobbles that go down his tail as well to make it look spiny. So he's very well stuffed. Um, but yeah, that is the Gario body done. That is the Dyer Club from um toft it is a subscription box so he will have his own video as well but you'll get to see him in the podcast when he's finished so that's the second one and because i finished the snowflake beret i went ahead and started on the one that's going to be a sample so it is in my eye crochet so i don't choke people bag um and this time i am using alwyn which is this one and Fane, or Tane, um, and they look like, it is looking like this. Let me put the bag down. There we go. So this is what I mean by, it's very tight with the six mil, so I am wanting to try and see if it will work any differently with a 6.5, um, and try and loosen up a little bit. But I think this is up to round seven of the pattern. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking it. The pink is really doing it for me. I really like the pink pops in this. Yeah. So again, this is the little grey girl chunky yarn. This is a sample, which I'm hoping to have finished very soon. Um, yeah, it do, like it took me an afternoon to do that. This pattern, if you just sat and did it, you can do it in an evening and just get it done in a few hours. Because it's chunky yarn, it works up nice and big. Um, the 6 mil that I've been using is actually my Pedro's Plax one, which is my Phoenix. I absolutely love this hook. I really do. It's so lovely to work with and it's so pretty. But yeah, that is living in that one. Then I have actually been doing some knitting. Now I don't know how much progress there is though. I know I put a few rounds in, but I don't know if it's worth showing you. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what I've actually done. I don't remember where I was before. 
Um, I'm going to leave it attached to here. So, oh, I'm right, I think I've done another stripe. I think I was on the green last time. So I've done the gingerbread and the red. Or I was on the red. I don't remember. But yes, there's a little bit of progress. There's not an awful lot. But we know I'm not really a knitter. Um, I basically took this to my mum's, to my parents' house. Um one weekend just to do something because I didn't want to take a big project like a big pro crochet project so I just took my socks and that is also their lighting is very poor so I think once I'm there I'm going to be knitting on those quite a lot especially in the evening time um just because I don't think there's enough light for me to do crochet especially with dark yarn but thankfully I don't think I have any other than the Rollo Monkey yeah anyway that's in here which is a little grey girl bag <laughs> I do love the pandas this is a Tula pink panda there's her little label and it's a little drawstring I've also got a tag which is knitting so yeah there's going to be more of that so they have been worked up. It is West Yorkshire Spinners Gingerbread. Um, it is their Christmas colourway, I think, from 2021. I want to say 21. It might be 2022. <laughs> 2022. Yes, it's 2022's colourway. I don't remember. Um, so I have one more finish. One more whip. To show you which is something a little bit different because i don't do this very often and it is a freebie kit from cross stitcher magazine now for anyone who's eagle-eyed you will see the date on this magazine apparently i don't throw anything out the amount of magazines i have found is embarrassing like really embarrassing i filled up my boot went to a boot sale and then had a box in the car as well with more magazines and i've now dropped those at a local resource center they do craft workshops and things as well so they've had all of those then i found free boxes in my cupboard of more magazines i which i've given to a friend to take to a craft group but she's also had another load of magazines as well but i just keep finding them the issue was my grandmother and i had the same subscription to cross stitcher magazine so i ended up with hers as well so i had lots of duplicates um and a lot of these have got all the kits with them still so anyway i thought i would do this one so this is from april 2014 and it is issue 277 and I have been working on this. So you get the print out of the notebook cover and you get like a booklet to go in with it, which you then stick together. And yeah, there's three different colored threads. Although I couldn't, I tried, I started this very late at night and couldn't work out which was the dark and which was the light and yeah. So anyway, I have only stitched the outline of the heart that's progress <laughs> so i've got two more colors to do and but i'm really enjoying it it's quite cute i need to cut off the threads but yeah so i just thought it was cute like things i love it does have like i said it's got the booklet that you stick inside after um, but yeah, that's the last little whip that I've been working on. So actually what I'm going to do tonight is sit down and relax and try and get some more of that done. I've not really worked like cross stitch on paper before. I've done it on plastic um, and wood, but not paper. So I'm trying to be very delicate with it and not rip it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so... That's what I'm working on. I think it's just DMC thread. I'm not really sure. But yeah, something quite cute to work on. Um, and yeah, that is my whips. 
So the last thing then is acquisitions. And I can say that the only thing I have bought this month is a ball of Tutti Frutti to make the turtle and obviously the chicken. <laughs> Um, and then I bought, I think I bought two bags of stuff in. It could have been a third bag of stuff in because surprisingly the turtles take a lot. I think I ran out of one bag and I was about, I think it did three turtles. Yeah, I think I made, I think I did three turtles with one bag of stuff in. So I think it's like 300 grams of stuff in and then had to buy another one. But I bought two. So, I don't know. I think I've had three bags of stuff in this month. But I can only remember buying two. Anyway, my top keeps... <laughs> yeah. It's been one of those days. <laughs> um. So, yeah, the last thing to talk to you about is my plans then for July. Now, I'm going to carry on crafting on the 9th... On the, yeah, 19th I'm heading there. I'm camping overnight for two nights. I loved it last year, absolutely did. So I'm going back again this year with my friends again, and I cannot wait. Um, yeah, so it's 20th and 21st of July. So I'm going to carry on crafting, and I don't know what projects to take because I think I'm just gonna have um toft projects left to work on. Um, yeah, so hmm. Yeah, so I have those to do, and I am also going to need to drive another van up, a smaller van. The last two were huge. I'm not doing a big one again. I can take a small one this time. It will fit. And the aim is just to get, like, the last of it done, and then it's completely done. So, yeah, I've got to take a small van up and then come back by train um, when I come back from carrying crafting. <laughs> So there's a lot going on in July. It's going to be very busy towards the end of the month. Um, but I do have some plans. So I am actually going to be starting the 100 day project again. I recently put up a video of the first time I did the 100 day project. And I actually finished one project. That was the Big Cats project, which I made for my dad. And I still need to get it washed stretched and framed so i want to try and get that done as well i want to give it to him for his birthday his birthday is the 9th of august now i'm actually going to a wedding on the 9th of august as well which is why i'm still in essex until the middle of august time um so the middle of the six weeks holidays <laughs> effectively and yeah so i want to get it done like I need to have it done. I can't get it framed and then have it shipped back here for him. So I want to get it done and, and gift it to him for his birthday. Because it's been 13 years since I started that project. And yeah, I finished it in 2021. So it's been waiting three years now to be washed, stretched and framed. I did get a quote for the frame. So I've got an idea of how much it's going to cost me. And yeah, I just want to end this with that being done. So that is one thing to do. Um, anyway, in terms of the 100 day project moving forward, I did actually put, I think, 34 or something hours in to the Mighty Samurai. So that is part two of my 100 day project. Um, so my second 100 hours and I want to finish that block of 100 so I'm going to try and do that as well and I'm hoping I'm really hoping that will finish that project because again that doesn't belong to me and that's for my aunt to give to my uncle so I want that finished as well before I move because I don't want to be shipping that back either <laughs> Um, yeah, so 100 day project. So I'll be do using that hashtag over on Instagram if you want to keep up with that. Um, it will be over on my overall so's account, I think. And I might share it to my stories as well on my other account, the House of Langford one. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Um, and all the projects I've shown you today, I kind of want to finish those. So I want to try and get the postcards with Love Blanket done. I want to get 
snowflake berry done. Um, I want to do finish the notebook, the little cross stitch notebook. I want to finish Sawyer the Gariel, and I need to try and put together Sal the Rollaway Monkey. So I'm going to try and take Sal to work and my ring light and try and get him done so that that's one thing I can tick off my list. But I think that's everything. There is this, like I said, this is the last time you're going to see this sort of corner space. And I think moving forward, they're all going to come from my new space. She's very exciting. I was wondering, I was worried that I was going to have to try and find somewhere at my parents' home to do July's podcast. But I think, I think my timings are going to work out that I can do it in the new one. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of the turtles because I absolutely love them. Um, and have you done the postcards with love blanket because I'd love to see yours it's been a while now that I've been working on this so yeah thank you all for joining with joining me and following me along on this journey and as always if you do like what you see here please hit that subscribe button um, and give us a thumbs up because it helps my videos get seen to more people and if you pop a comment down below i will always reply as well so thank you for joining me and i will see you all again next time take care bye